hello everyone welcome to our channel easy explanation in this video tutorial we will be learning about the concept of inline function in c++ so before discussing the concept of inline function let us understand the disadvantages of normal function call in c++ so this program will demonstrate demonstrate disadvantages of normal function call so has include io stream using name space std let's define a function call as int add int x comma int y and we will simply return x plus y write a function called as a int main and let us call this function over here in from the main function call the add function from within the main function so see out add 10 comma 20 and uh, so how the function call actually works so let, us, let me describe it first so we know that the entry point of a c++ program is a main function when the line number 10 is executed like we are calling the function add form within the main function when this call is made to a function when the call function call is made for the add function what happens is all the context of main functions all the context of main function means all the variables of main function all the locals variable that are defined or all everything that are defined within the main functions are saved into stack data structure structure and the main function goes into sleep mode means when the function call is made the parent function from which it is called goes into sleep mode or into the passive mode so all the context of main function are saved into a stack data structure and a main function goes to sleep mode then the control is transferred to the add function now now control transfers to the add function now once the add function is executed once the execution of this is done the control again transfers back to once execution of add function is done the control transfers back to main function now all the context variable that is saved into a stack data structure is popped out and the main function become active again so you can see these are the overhead overhead of the normal function call so function need means our uh, control of our program need to be switched back and forth while making the function call so obviously it will take some time so it will be uh, like function call make our program bit slower so this can be improved or this can be improvised by using the concept of a inline function so by using the concept of inline function in c++ program we can optimize the execution time of c++ program so the main disadvantage of using the inline function in c++ program is it will help you to optimize the execution time as in the case of the normal function call by doing the function call there is overall overhead associated with the normal function call which can uh, increase the execution time and we can optimize this by using the concept of a inline function so how does the inline function optimize the execution time for that let us first write the code and then we'll understand the concept for that let us write a uh, create a file called as demo inline dot cpp i'll create a has include io stream using name space std the inline function can be created by using the keyword inline after using the keyword inline 
you can write the normal function definition over here so inline int add int x comma int y and you can simply write return so it is always recommended to write the definition of inline function using a single line so if you are writing multiple line within the inline function then that inline function will always also be treated as a normal function call so it is always recommended to write inline function with just a single line within the function definition so int main return zero so the function call is made similar to the what we did for the normal function call but the execution style is different over here so see out add to comma 3 and then let us see if the program compiles or not so g plus plus demo underscore inline programs are su compiled successfully and dot slash dot out produces the output as a 5 so this is the concept of inline function so how does it optimize or improve the execution pro execution time of c plus plus program is when the call to inline function is made instead of transferring the control directly to the inline function what our compiler does is it just copy the content of inline function to location where from where it is called so our compiler just copies and paste the content of inline function as the location from which it is called it is similar to how our preprocessor directive works so instead of making the function call or instead of transferring the transferring the control back to the inline function defined at uh, line number four whatever compiler does is it just copies the content of this inline function at this location from where it is called so in this way in this way our execution time of our program is improved by using the concept of an inline function and the point that we need to remember while for, while writing the inline function is always write the definition of inline function with just a single line or the content of inline function with just a single line do not write multiple line within the body of inline function when you write multiple line within the body of inline function it is treated as a normal function instead of a inline function let us write another program related to this inline function like another program is inline underscore one dot cpp or inline underscore max dot cpp so let us write a function i write a c plus plus program to find largest of two numbers using inline function so these are the uh, simple concept in c plus plus programming language so has include io stream using name space std unless define a inline function inline int max int x comma int y it accept two integer as argument and return the maximum of two integer return if x is greater than y we will be using this ternary operator the value will be x otherwise the value will be y we will be using terminary operator up here so always write the body of inline function with just a single line do not I use multiple line within the inline function so int main let us say we have int a is equals to 10 b is equals to 20 and which is the largest like let us say we are trying to find out largest number between a and b for that what we'll do is c out largest is equals to max of a comma b in there 
using namespace std okay clear g plus plus using namespace std i have defined in c out i just throwing error like c out Make it a maximum. Mm, int main. I don't know what is the error over here. So we have a function. We have a program that finds out the or returns the maximum of two numbers. So C plus plus program to find largest among two numbers by using inline function so I have included IO stream using std we have defined an inline function like this max of index and y I have used ternary operator over here in the main function I am calling it as a regular function but the mechanism of function execution is different that I have discussed so max of 2 comma 3 so it should return maximum of this 2 and 3 so g plus plus dm underscore inline 2 dot cpp and dot slash a dot out so it is to return maximum between 2 and 3 which is the 3 value over yeah so this is the concept of inline function so like in summary what you can say is inline function help you to optimize the execution time of c plus plus program how it is done so unlike a normal function call in which uh, like uh, while making the function call the parent function from which it is called its context needs to be saved into the stack data structure then the function call is made and after the execution only the function become active so this takes lots of time and can increase the execution time of any program so it can be improved by using the concept of inline function so in the concept in while using the inline function in a program what our compiler does is it just copies the content of that inline function to the location from which it is called so by doing so it just expand the whole program so inline function just expand the whole program and expand the whole program and by doing so we do not need to make the function call and the execution time of our program is optimized or it is improved so only disadvantage of using inline function is it just expand the code or the length of our source code just get bigger or the, by expanding the inline function at the location from which it is called so this is all about the inline function in c programming language so if you have any question or query queries related to inline function please let us know into the comment section thank you so much and we'll also discuss some of the uh, uh, some of the multiple qu choice question related to inline function so let us start that so you can see in c in c the concept of inline function is used to optimize the execution time program by reducing the function call overhead so what are the overhead we have discussed about that in detail so you have to use the keyword inline with a normal function to make the other inline function so just one disadvantage of using inline function is uh, since uh, it just expand the code the length of our source code get bigger or length of our source code increases but it optimizes the execution time of our program now let us discuss some of the multiple choice question related to inline function so the first question is what is inline function in c so the answer is a a function declared with the inline keyword which of the following advantage of using inline function so the answer is a improved performance due to reduced function call overhead when should you use the inline function in a program for large and complex function for function that are rarely used for a small for a small and frequently used function and for recursive function so for a small and frequently used function so another limitations of inline function is you cannot use inline function to make a recursive call 
so that is another disadvantage of inline function so today disadvantage we discussed one is it expand our source program so the length of our source code increases another is you cannot use inline function to make a recursive call so you should remember this point so for recursive function we cannot use inline function can a recursive function be declared inline the answer is no what happens if a function declared as inline is too large or complex the function is treated as a regular function call so if you write multiple line within the inline function then it will be treated as a normal function call or a regular function call which of the following is following is the limitation of inline function they cannot be defined in header file they increases the size of compiled program they cannot have parameter they cannot be called from another function obviously the answer is they increase the size of our compiled program as we copy the content of inline function from the location into the location from which it is called can virtual function be declared inline it is no what is the purpose of using inline function in c plus plus to reduce the code duplication how does inline function affect the visibility of the program it has no effect on the visibility of a function can a member function of a class be declared inline the answer is yes you can declare member function of a class as an inline function so i'll be discussing this concept while discussing the concept of class and objects which of the following is true about inline function and recursion inline function cannot be recursive so the question is now which of the following is potential drawback of using inline function increase code execution time reduce program efficiency none of the above so as the inline function improves the execution time improves the program efficiency and we do not have the function call overhead associated with the inline function can a function be declared inline have a local variable the answer is yes so inline function can have local variable as a regular function so these are the concepts related to the inline function if you have any question queries related to that please let us know in the comment section and please like share and subscribe our channel thank you so much Please subscribe our channel for getting updated videos. Thank you so much. We'll see, see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you so much.